Hi, and welcome back to Broadsheet Melbourne, Around Town. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. I'm Katja Vaktul, Broadsheet's Editorial Director and the host of this 10-minute guide to Melbourne. Aaron Lewin is a longtime broadsheet contributor who writes our local knowledge series. He's here today to talk about a Mauritian restaurant in Dandenong Market called La Caisse Mama. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you. So tell us about this. Um, it's a it's a restaurant, it's a stall. Tell us about it. I believe it's in the pantry section of the Dandenong Markets. Maybe if you're not familiar with it, it might be a little bit hard to kind of track down, but I think there's a very strong contingent of people who are, you know, huge fans of the restaurant, love the restaurant, you know, go there all the time, particularly within the Mauritian community. In speaking to Girish, who's kind of one of the owners of the restaurant, his kind of, you know, goal or mission with the restaurant was spreading awareness about authentic Mauritian cuisine and everything that kind of entails. Uh, So I think he was really, you know, hankering for like a traditional kind of uh, Mauritian biryani and he kind of wasn't able to, he I guess had trouble finding the the spice mix to kind of make it. So he went to one side of Melbourne trying to find it, couldn't find it, went to the other side of Melbourne, couldn't find it and was like, you know, drove, you know, a bunch of hours that day and was like, all right, there's obviously if I'm one person doing this, there must be a other Mauritians living here who also have that same desire to eat food from home. Um, There's a huge, you know, there's a market for it there. And um, yeah, people have that same urge. And so I think he took that initiative. So he started kind of with these products and then it transformed into somewhere you could actually go in and eat. So describe the place for us. You've you've eaten there. Mm -hmm. Is this, um, yeah, tell us about what it looks like. You know, a relatively small kind of market store. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And then they kind of have a kitchen behind that serving food. So what did you eat when you were there? So there was um, a kind of a stir fried noodle dish and there was like a poached noodle dish with chicken and, you know, various types of sauces. And that was kind of Chinese style noodle dishes. And then there were two um, wraps, I guess. So it was a venison kind of flatbed wrap and an octopus kind of flatbed bread wrap. There was also like a pickled fish, uh, which a vindai. Um, and there were also French desserts. So we got a bit of a spectrum. So I think the interesting thing about the cuisine was, um, you know, there's significant Indian influence, Chinese influence, African influence, and European influence. And then I think if you go to Mauritius, each kind of cuisine, you know, you'd go and you get the Ch- Mauritian kind of Chinese food and Indian food. It's not, you know, which has been influenced by the area, the location, and the history of the cuisine. But I think his mission is to kind of bring it all together as like an umbrella. So if you, you know, go there, you can sample a bit of everything. What kind of flavours can you expect? And as you just described, there's different influences. So I'm sure each dish might use its own different flavours and spices and herbs. But the noodle dish, like, does that taste like something that if you're familiar with Chinese cooking, it'll taste familiar? Or is there something that is, that feels different about it? Because Mm -hmm. this is this is Mauritian Chinese. Yeah, I think that's what, you know, was particularly interesting to me was that it was kind of Chinese style, but obviously influenced by the geography of the country and the history of the country. So uh, like the, I think the noodle, like the chicken dish in particular was slightly drier where you expect it to be a bit more, kind of more moist with, I suppose, traditional kind of Chinese stir fries, even though that's kind of a broad thing in itself. There are certain other cuisines where kind of customers have a strong image of what that kind of cuisine involves. Um, While with Mauritian cuisine, I think for a wider community, they don't have that strong idea of what it might be necessarily. Yeah, the wider Australian community. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So I think his kind of goal is to create a bit of, you know, enhance a kind of identity of Mauritian cuisine and um yeah and so people maybe have a stronger image of what it is and I think part of that as well is by catering to the Mauritian community uh they will in turn go out and you know bring products bring people in and say this is Mauritian cuisine and then part of that is to create that stronger identity of what it is and you know pass on those really strong flavors and um things that people might not have experienced or you know stir fries biryanis curries that that might be, you know, similar in certain ways, but with a slightly different twist that they might not be familiar with. In your story, you say that, you know, people travel from all over Melbourne Mm -hmm. to go to La Caisse Mama. And I think it's important to also kind of draw that distinction. Not only are there, is the wider community getting to experience Mauritian cuisine, um, either by virtue of hearing about it or kind of stumbling across it, it's also a place for the diaspora to come and eat the dishes that they might be familiar with from home or that their family cooked when they were growing up. Uh, So it's obviously a bit of a community hub as well for the Mauritian community. Yeah, uh, totally. So I think that's where 
uh, people come and they, you know, get their food from home that they might not, you know, be able to access. You know, there are a few stores, but not so many. So it's a real point of accessibility and a real meeting spot for people who are, you know, Mauritian background or um, that they might not otherwise really get to experience. And I think that was also a real driving force behind kind of the restaurant opening was that um, before kind of the emergence of some of these restaurants, people weren't really able to access these foods. They would mm. kind of often rely on people to go back to Mauritius, bring products in, and then, um, you know, whatever they were able to access that was kind of what they were able to eat. Yeah. So I think it was very exciting for members of the Mauritian community to be able to have this place where they can go and they can eat food from home. Well, thanks so much, Aaron. It sounds like the kind of place that more Melbourneians should be checking out. It's open at Dandenong Market when Dandenong Market is open. So just go to their website to check out their opening hours. Yeah. And um, thank you very much. And yeah, just to emphasize, the food is so delicious and really, really worth checking out. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, thanks, Katja. That's it for today. As always, you can stay up to date at any time at broadsheet.com.au or on Instagram at broadsheet underscore melb. See you again next week.